1. What is Entity Framework Core? Answer. Entity Framework Core, YEF Core, is an open-source ORM object relational mapper developed by Microsoft. It enables .NET developers to work with databases using .NET objects, eliminating much of the data access code usually required. It supports LINQ queries, change tracking, and schema migrations. 2. How does Entity Framework Core differ from Entity Framework 6? Answer. EF Core is a lightweight, extensible, and cross-platform version of Entity Framework. EF6 is mature but lacks some modern features like improved performance and support for new databases. EF Core introduces better support for new databases, batch updates, and no more lazy loading by default. 3. What are DB Context and DB Set in EF Core? Answer. DB Context represents a session with the database and handles the querying and saving of data. DB Set represents a collection of entities in the context, corresponding to a database table. 4. What are migrations in EF Core? Answer. Migrations are a way to incrementally update your database schema as your data model changes, without losing existing data. It uses code to add, remove, or change tables, columns, or relationships in a database. 5. How do you enable migrations in EF Core? Answer. You can enable migrations by running the command .NET EF Migrations Add Migration Name in the Package Manager Console or CLI. 6. How do you configure the connection string in EF Core? Answer. You can configure the connection string in the onConfiguring method of DB context, or by using dependency injection and adding it in appsettings.json. 7. What are Fluent API and Data Annotations in EF Core? Answer. Fluent API and Data Annotations are two ways to configure your entity classes. Fluent API allows more advanced configurations and is used in on model creating in DB context. Data annotations are attributes added to entity classes for basic configurations. 8. What is change tracking in EF Core? Answer. Change tracking is the process of keeping track of changes to entities, so EF Core knows what to insert, update, or delete in the database. 9. Explain DB context lifetime in EF Core. Answer. DB context should generally have a short lifespan and should be scoped to each request. It's usually created, used, and disposed within a single operation. 10. How can you query data in EF Core? Answer. You can use LINQ language integrated query to query data in EF Core. Common methods include dot where, dot select, dot order by, and dot to list. 11. What is lazy loading in EF Core? Answer. Lazy loading means that related entities are loaded from the database only when they are accessed. EF Core supports lazy loading, but it requires setting up navigation properties as virtual and installing the Microsoft Entity Framework Core proxies package. 12. What is eager loading in EF Core? Answer. Eager loading is a way to load related entities along with the main entity by using .include and .thenInclude in the query. It fetches the data in a single query, preventing multiple database calls. 13. What is explicit loading in EF Core? Answer. Explicit loading is when you load related data only when needed and on demand by calling .load on the navigation property after retrieving the main entity. 14. What are global query filters in EF Core? Answer. Global query filters allow you to define conditions that apply to all queries for a specific entity type, like filtering out soft deleted records. They're configured in the onModelCreating method. 15. How do you handle concurrency in EF Core? Answer. Concurrency can be managed by using a concurrency token, like a row version column. EF Core automatically throws a DB update concurrency exception if it detects changes by another user. 16. What is the purpose of as no tracking in EF Core? Answer. As no tracking is used to disable change tracking for a query, making it faster and reducing memory usage when you only need to read data without modifying it. 17. What are shadow properties in EF Core? Answer. 
Shadow properties are properties that exist in the model but are not defined in the .NET class. They are useful for adding properties that are only used for database purposes. 18. How can you execute raw SQL queries in YefCore? Answer. You can use the .from SQL raw or .from SQL interpolated methods to execute raw SQL queries directly in YefCore. 19. How do you perform CRUD operations in YefCore? Answer. Create add new entities with dot add or dot add range. Read. Retrieve entities with LINQ queries. Update. Modify entities and call dot save changes. Delete. Remove entities with dot remove or dot remove range. 20. How do you save changes to the database in YefCore? Answer. You use the dot save changes or dot save changes async method in db context to persist changes to the database 21 what is the difference between find and first order fault in yefcore answer find searches for an entity by its primary key and uses the cache if available first order fault retrieves the first matching record from the database 22 what are own types in yefcore answer own types allow a class to be owned by another entity, where the owned entity has no identity of its own and shares the owner's lifecycle. 23. What is the hasData method in YefCore? Answer. The hasData method is used to seed initial data to the database when setting up migrations. This data is added automatically when a migration is applied. 24. What is database seeding in YefCore? Answer. Database seeding is a process of populating the database with initial data using the hasData method or other manual methods, useful for default or testing data. 25. How do you handle cascading deletes in YefCore? Answer. Cascading deletes in YefCore are configured using the Fluent API with .onDelete in the onModelCreating method, where you can set it to cascade, restrict, or set null. 